So I'm going to make the circles in my wood. And what I've done is I've uh, laminated two pieces of three-quarter inch oak together to make one block of wood. And I've marked the center point. And I've nailed in a small brad into my uh, table saw sled. And next, I'll go ahead and clip off most of that nail. Now I'll just take my center point and place it right onto that tack. Go ahead and nail it on there. Before I start this cut, I think I should issue a little disclaimer. I picked up this technique from some old guy on YouTube who has a video on there who does this. He cuts circles on a table saw. And I think it's a pretty good technique. I've done it a few times and it works out pretty well. Well, on his video, there's just a gazillion messages about how controversial this is and how unsafe it is. So it may be unsafe to you. To me, it's within my comfort range. So by no means do anything you see me do in any of my videos if you don't feel comfortable doing them. I'm doing these videos, I'm just documenting what I'm doing. That's all. I'm not even a professional doing this stuff. So, uh, and secondly, don't start emailing me and telling me how unsafe this is. Don't take anything I say as the word of God, okay? And with that said, I'm going to start cutting a circle in this piece of wood. pretty decent circles. I'm just using my drill press with a uh, 2 and an 8 inch Forstner bit to drill out holes in the center of those circles. And now I've got a perfect little circle. Now I'll just ease over the corners with a quarter inch roundover bit on my router. And, of course, I need to do the inside edges. So that gives me two nice little wheels with rounded over edges on all sides. And I think a little bit of sanding is in order, and then I can move on. And to sand these down, I'm just going to use my old-fashioned cordless oscillating sander. To make the panel that's going to hold the pots, I took a piece of oak and I resawed it and planed it down to a quarter inch thick. Now, since this project is all about circles, I'm going to grab one of the uh, little wheels that I made and just kind of line it up evenly and I'll be able to use that mark to cut a rounded edge for the where it fits into the inside of these circles. Now I'm just cutting that out on my bandsaw. To cut the holes for the pots, I've got this hole saw jig, this little tool that uh, you can expand it to any size that you need. And uh, that's going to work out just fine to cut holes that are just a little bit smaller than this piece of wood itself. Now I'm just easing over the edges of the top panel. Now what I've done is set up a stop block and I can line up my circle and I can cut out a groove where that panel that holds the pots will sit. And it'll take a couple of passes to get it through to a quarter inch thick. Now 
Now, I can wedge those in and see how it's going to fit. Both of those circles are going to fit in about like that. And with my pots, they'll sit in about like that. To glue this up, I can't figure out any way to do it other than it's just going to get messy and I'll have to clean off the glue. So what I've done is I put a little dab of glue there and now I'm going to slide this on just like that. And it really doesn't need a lot of glue to hold it. And just try to get it centered about where I want it. About like there. Now I'm just taking a wet sponge and wiping off the little excess of glue uh, that's on the project. And I don't think I really need to clamp this up because I think that these circles are fit tight enough in there that it's going to hold it on its own. So at this point I just want to make sure everything is aligned correctly and testing it again and looking down just kind of eyeballing it and making sure that uh, looks about equal both sides and after staining it I'm just applying a few coats of spray lacquer so with several coats of lacquer on the project and I've got two terracotta pots that my son painted and my wife added some fake flowers to and so with all of that it makes a pretty nice little gift project. So I hope you uh, enjoyed the project and I hope you give it a shot and thanks for watching.